You are welcome to our Habal. You are welcome to our Habal world. This is Fagara Zintoxilu. Uriata in Yoruba. Egbo ata the roots, ah egbo ata. Ewe ata the leaves, ah ewe. Egbo the trunk. Fagara Zintoxilu is a plant we have here in tropical Africa. It's a very powerful plant. And uh, we want to focus our attention on the area you can Use uh, Fagara's in Toxilum to procure instant erection by just using the chewing stick. Look like this. You use it as chewing stick, you have instant erection. Let me tell you a little about the roots of the plant. When you cut the roots of this plant, you dig the ground, cut the roots of this plant, then wash properly, slice them, and then use it as chewing stick. You, you procure instant erection. In most uh, remote areas of Africa, you see them being sold, especially by the Yorubas, the Igbo, and then the people of the Hausa land. The roots of the plant is called, uh, if, if they are using it for instant erection, the Hausa has called it Magani, Kurantashi, when it is in form of uh, medicine for procure erection. Then in short pigeon Nigerian grammar it is called a mom power mom must win. Then you also use the roots to produce lots and lots of medicine. Medicine for the treatment and management of syphilis. Medicine for the treatment of esterica coli. You will use this plant because when you suspect that you are missing your manhood that is that it is disappearing it's shrinking. Something must be wrong. Something must be responsible for it. Use Fagara's in Toxirum. When you are having problem of a uh, sickle cell, which is a genetic factor, sickle cell anemia, you can use this to sustain your life. God will help you to use it to sustain your life to old age. By using the roots, that's, in that case, you grate it. You grate it. After grating, you now put in hot water to drink or you chew it. Fagara Zintoxilum has a stopgap action on sickle cell crisis, especially when the blood cells are going into a sludge. So it's very good for people with uh, the um, sickle cell anemia when soaked in lime or when taken as a powder, in powder form alone. Then it's also good for combating anemia, shortage of blood. That's why we used to plug the leaves grind the leaves mixed with red oil to eat roasted yam here in Africa. Especially when we go to the farm to do work. When we are hungry, we roast yam in the, in the forest only to use the leaves, grind, put red oil and salt and eat. Then, it has thorn. Look at the thorns. At the Department of Fine and Apply Arts, we use the thorns to carve stamp to carve stamp, official stamp that you use in. But today, we are using it for medicine because the concentration of the medicine is highly in the leaves, in the root, the root of the plant, and the distance. If you cut it like this now, very pepperish. I'll remove the back. If you chew it like this, your tongue will be doing like this. Your tongue. Your tongue will be shaking, shaking, shaking. That's the backs of it. The backs can be soaked in lime or soaked in hot in wine for the treatment and management 
or some infections. The paper is too much, oh. <laughs> So, just by chewing, I'm not a man, oh, but as a man, if you chew it, you see that your body will come with charge and you have instant erection. Not only by sight, but by stimulation of some organs of the body. That are responsible for procuring erection. That's all we can talk today about instant erection with the chewing stick. Because the pepper, the pepperishness of the one I've chewed is so much on my tongue. Mm -hmm.